continue to go I can't see any struggle in my environment. I will continue from where we stopped yesterday on page 256. Okay, and we are in chapter 8. It says, Filling your sales pipeline, which is a prospecting. It said, Filling your sales pipeline. Prospecting. Yesterday, we all stopped for talking about the golden um, prospect. We were talking about several qualities that a prospect may um, have or possess for you to be able to talk to them or uh, not to be able to uh, talk to them. So we'll continue from there to there. So for example, a company in the middle of its busiest season, during which a critical machine breaks down and cannot be repaired, is a prime prospect for the person and company who can sell and deliver this type of machine rapidly. Not long ago, a young salesman selling construction materials lost a major order to a more aggressive supplier. <coughs> but in the middle of the construction job, <coughs> the supplier's workers went on strike. The customer was depressed and called the young man to see if his company could deliver quickly. They could and even thought their prices were slightly higher. The young salesman gained a first-rate customer who not only bought large quantity from him, but who opened doors for him to other people who also became customers. The second factor that makes for a good prospect is that there is a clear cost-benefit relationship between your products or services and the, cost and the customer's projected use of it. The financial benefit in money saved or gained by implementing your product or service is obvious and measurable. The return on investment on your product is fast and significant. The consumer can easily justify buying from you without a long process of evaluation. The sales can be wrapped up quickly. When my staff wanted to buy a 1,500 collateral printer from my company, they showed me how this machine would save four to six hours a day of work of a person's earning 1,800 per month. The machine would therefore pay for itself in less than 60 days. My company's return on the investment would be between 600% and 1,000% per year on purchase price. The decision was a no-brainer. We bought it immediately. When you are evaluating a prospect, you should be looking for opportunities to show the prospects that purchasing your product or, or services yield such an attractive payback that it makes no sense not to proceed. The third attribute of a good prospect is that he has a positive attitude towards you, your industry, and your product or services. He has had positive experiences with you or with what you sell in the past. He is open and interested in your offering and is primarily concerned about how he can work with you to make the best buying decision. A prospect who is looking forward to enjoying the benefit and advantages offered by your product or service is one of the easiest of all people to sell to. If you sell custom, custom Sorry, if you sell costume tailored suits to a person who has always worn a costume tailored suit and who has no current supplier, virtually all you have to do is assure satisfaction to get initial order to make this person an ongoing consumer. The prospect is already psychologically predisposed to buying the product from someone. The fourth attribute of a good prospect is that a large sale is possible to this prospect if your selling efforts are successful. If the prospect becomes a customer, he or she will buy a lot of what you are selling. This one customer can buy as much or more as several smaller customers. This is a very good customer to have. The fifth attribute of a, pro of a good prospect is that he or she is the center of influence. 
he or she is well respected by other people in the industry. A satisfactory sale to this person or company will lead to testimonials and referrals that will generate substantial follow-up businesses from other potential customers. It is a very good strategy to select this kind of customers as the outset and then make every effort possible to get this person to buy from you and become a satisfied consumer of a product or service. The extra initial effort expanded on this customer can give you leverage with other customers who know and respect you. This one sales can serve as a multiplier of your sales efforts. For example, Professional salespeople will quit with, with quite commonly reach the newspaper and ask around to get the names and organizations of the most respected people in the local business community. Often, it will be the lead of a large company or the president of the chamber of commerce. The top salespeople will then lay out a strategy to get that person as a customer. He will gently persist for months if necessary until that person buys from him. The salesperson or this person will then make an extra effort to make sure this customer is highly satisfied with his purchase. With this consumer's testimony and referrals, sales then become possible to everyone who knows and respects him. Okay, so that's all stuff for reading. So we say the building prospects. So the first characteristics of a good prospect is that he or she has a pressing need. The second factor is that the prospect, the prospect that is a clear cost-benefit of relationship. The third attribute of a good prospect is that he has a positive attribute. And the fourth attribute of a good prospect is that a large sale is possible to this prospect. And the fifth attribute we have just read now is that he or she is a center of um, influence. That means you can actually refer your product or service to um, other um, people, and this prospect or customer actually has a positive attitude towards you, is welcoming, wants to listen to you. Then you also have a cost, a clear um, cost benefit relationship with this customer. So that is all. A golden, that is the factors of who or what a golden prospect is. Thank you. Thank you.